Hey people, this is Tabs Nishmail and this video is going to be my first impression on version 15 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I already have it installed, I installed a 64-bit version of it. Let me just go ahead and then open it. I've done a couple of things. Um, all I did was just to, you know, pin this out of space so that we can um, see the entire canvas in here. Aside that, um, let's just start with the home section. As you can see in the ribbon, you have newly um, designed icons which looks very cool as compared to that of version 14. So same things we see in here. Now when we come to the toolbox, you have some um, new tools as part of the existing ones in version 14. And if you take a very good look, you realize that the icons also have some kind of you know new design set to it. And when you come to the blocks, just like you saw that you have new blocks added. So we have a couple of blocks added here i'm not sure where to get a template but i'll figure that out later on and um, see how best i can work with that and aside that let me just come to the site manager so i, I don't think there's any change in here aside the redesign of the icons in the site manager and then the page properties will also be the same thing in here and then the properties will also be the same thing in here i'm sure because i don't have any object selected that this actually going to give me the properties of the page let me just right click and then go to page properties and then see if there's something new in here so okay so the next um the new thing you might be looking out for is the seo section just like we saw in one of the videos which allows you to specify your search engine optimization um details in here so we still have our meta tags and then you have icons so this is going to be your favicon section for your project and so I think that has been taken out from this section where you used to have your favicon and rather um, have a whole um, new tab on it too, which is the icon section that's going to contain your favicon. And then miscellaneous, I think it's still the same thing we had in version 14. Advanced, I think um, nothing really new in here. And then events, um, as maybe aside the new added events and the rest, I think that's just about it. For the page properties let's just go to the tools and then come to the options section and then take a look at some of the things available in here so over here i uh, think just like we saw in some of the videos under general you have a couple of new options available in here so use um, control click to duplicate objects and then i uh, think um so that's i think there, there might be a few more in here and then you have html that you have font so a same font i don't think anything new has been done to this and then you have files so publish i think it's still the same thing and then user interface here you get to make some um, changes and then you have your grid and guidelines so, okay i think initially I used to see this under view i don't know if it's still available in there but i'll do check that right after leaving here so that has been added to this section which makes it cool initially uh, for my very first time, I had to struggle a bit to I, um, find out where I could go about configuring the grid settings. But uh, since it's here, it's going to be easier to have access to it and then configure it. And then just like we saw for the backup, you can specify interval for auto save, and then you have your spell check as usual. So let me cancel this and let me come to view and see if I have the guy settings. So I still have the guy settings in here. Okay, so it brings you small or less a link that brings you to this section. And then under view, you have the layout mode. So how you want to view it, is it um, web layout, design layout, or full screen? And then once you hit on easy mode, just like we saw, you get your notification asking you, do you want to continue with the easy mode in there? And then uh, let me just come to tools. What else do I have in here? So I think um, extension manager, it's still the same extension manager. You can install up to 500. Um, extensions now just uh, based on the resources of your system and uh, what else I think let me just try to get it to let me just go with a normal layer so let me just type the layer to in here and then draw that here let me double click on it and then um, take a look at the options we have here so just like we saw you have the option to set this to light box and then you get to specify the kind of light box you have and then um, style, same style event. Um, you have, uh, okay, I think it's same event, but you have some other events you, or added events you can work with. So then CSS animations to the same thing. And then you can set it to form as usual, bookmark. And then the dividers. So this is 
a very important one let me see how this is going to work let me just go ahead and select any of this click on ok let me preview this and see if um, maybe I, I'm sure I didn't do something right. So let me just come back, double click on this, go to dividers and then um, the color is let, let me just set this to a deeper color so I can see this. Oh, wow. This looks very cool. Okay. Let me come back here. Um, okay. So the width is 100%. Let me just select something different. Okay. Let me just, I think block looks cooler and then let me set this to the bottom and then the height let me just leave this click on ok and then preview this so we should have a blob oops we don't seem to have it displaying here i'm sure of something um let me just come back here this should be at the bottom and um maybe on top of content color black okay preview this again i should see something in here hmm it's not displaying i'm sure i have to spend some time to figure out a couple of things with version 15 but uh, as as we see in here just like we went through a couple of the uh, the new features of version 15 so you have your dividers that you can use in your project uh, let me just try one more time to see if it's going to show if it doesn't that's fine i'll figure it out in a different video now let me continue with layout grid let me see the um I should, let me just type layout grid and then double click on this and see if there's something new in here so uh, i don't think there's anything really new in here for layouts good aside the dividers we have in here let me just try this out to see if i'll have it display here so let me just click on ok preview this and okay i think i have something in there but because i don't have any um, content in my layout good that's how come i don't see it but that's fine let me just come to the toolbox and then um, take a look at the heading to just like we saw the option to disable the um, that's the width for it. So that should be somewhere where let me see. So box shadow, um, text shadow links, event, CSS pattern. Um, I think where do I get to see this? There was an option or there should be an option where I get to um specified out i don't want to have it to have a full width so um let me see text links okay i'm not finding that now probably i might have to spend some time more on version 15 but that's fine and then okay let me just drop it into this first instead let me just take this off um i should have none okay and then let me double click on this to see if i'll get the option oh okay so that's it in here with the um layout so i can set this to false and then it's going to um so yeah so that's this very cool i can actually wow so um, specify the size i want to have for my head and object so that's a cool feature in there and then let's go through to uh navigation so we have the panel menu let me just search for the panel menu um that's it and then draw in here double click on it and then get uh, take a look at the animation section of it so where do i find animation okay so this is a transition so just like we saw our newly added transitions for the panel menu you can get to use them here let me continue to the css menu as well and then should have some animations to work with here so yeah, transition. So we have that here as well for the CSS menu. And then let me come back to the toolbox and then search for mega menu and see the option for the icons. So uh, mega menu, I think, yeah, going to this option, I should be able to add icons to it. So, and then you have a couple of options to be working with as well here with a mega menu. Let me come back to the toolbox what are the um two let me see so we don't see for the carousel let me just take a look at the carousel here double click on it okay this is going to ask me to select let me just select splash screen double click on this okay there's actually a slide show instead let me just go out for the carousel okay oh i think i'll have to specify if i want to have this to be a carousel oh, okay 
so that's what i have in here but i should have the normal carousel that is uh, me being able to drag objects in it um let me just try this out okay so i can drag I can double click to select it means i have to select an object for this then we have image you have the image accordion so we just like we saw you get to specify different um, images and once you hover over it it gives you um, a larger version of the image i think i'll figure out uh we have slideshow and then we have a couple more so let me take a look at the button with the form so double click on it and then in case you want to link it so you have the link in there for the button and then you specify uh, the link for it so there's the link section where you get to specify the link for the button i think um let me come back here that's uh let me just expand this a bit more okay so you can refresh the objects in your blocks in case you added a new object and um, blocks you can refresh to have it as part of it uh let me continue my two box what else okay so we have the carousel in here okay so i can go ahead and include the carousel and then you have a couple of options as part of it so pause cycling on mouse enter so that's the um, feature we saw as part of the videos that so that's the feature in there as part of the videos i made for the carousel so i think that's just about it for this section and then um what else do we have new here i think um is there anything new so let me just go to the responsive mode as well to see so let me just create a breakpoint and um, okay so we have the feature in here activate breakpoints when browser window is smaller than the device width and then activate breakpoints when browser window is larger than the device width so those are the features we had or we saw and then let me if i specify my breakpoints here and just go ahead and then create for 768 so just like we saw that if you switch we switch to a different breakpoint you have the object you know we adjusted a bit so i think that's what we are seeing so if you take a very good look you realize that on the default we have the items you know looking a bit bigger when you come to the um 768 breakpoints you have them a bit smaller and then when you even come to um 320 you have them smaller again i think this is very cool in here now let me try the three um 2d rendering aspect so oh wow this looks very cool once i zoom in i still see everything to be cool wow this 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 is really great that's this is really really great i must say i'm very very much impressed at the 10 out of version 15. so once i try to zoom in you can do that here using control and using the scroll button on your mouse and as i zoom in you realize everything looks it looks very clean this is really awesome and if i zoom out as well it looks very clean the way it's being rendered so this is this is this is really really cool for version 15 what else do i get to see in here i think as time goes on i'll be spending more time with it to be able to figure out a couple of things as well as uh, let me try out a global replace too in here is there anything new here so uh, i don't think there's nothing anything new in here we can take a look at under global replace but let's go to the verify links where we get to see the filter so we have our filter in here let me just go ahead and create a link and then come back and then see how that is going to be so this is facebook.com and then click on okay let me come back to the verify links and then just search okay because i already have oh i only have facebook that's the only option going to be available but i think that is going to work perfectly well in here um what else so assets manager you get to see your assets and um so you have your team manager you get to um, change the team for that's your jQuery team in here let's take a look at the teamable menu here so okay so let me just double click on this and then come to options so we have the bootstrap jQuery and then you have context menu and then um, you get to so the settings or the style for it you get to specify the style for it in here and then you have I think a couple of um, options in here for it that's the orientation as well as the layout of it so yeah um is there anything more should have a look at um, um let me just close this and then i think for the marker we did see that it's going to come up with 
a new so let me see how do i get the properties of it um when i double click on this it takes me to the edit mode how do i get to see the properties of it let me just right click on it and see object properties okay so that's what i have in here okay so i can go about configuring it that is cool and uh let's just go to the ready to use javascript so double click on it and then we have uh just like we saw for the facebook so we should have a facebook save to facebook so that's it in here and then we should have a couple more um added features to the ready to use javascript so that's just about it i think so yeah so that's uh i think my first impression on version 15 of wizzy web builder so far looks pretty um, cool to me and uh, i can't really wait to start you know creating something with with it i'm going to spend more time to be able to figure out a couple of um, things how to go about a couple of um, things in version 15. So that's just about it for this video. My first impression on Wizard Require Builder. Do share with me in your comment section um, what you think about version 15. And if you've started um, using it already, let me know what you think about it or how it's been so far for you. So that's just about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.